welcome to this latest edition of our Cantata of the Week series. Today we're sharing with you BWV 23, the Cantata sent for Quinque Gessima, the last Sunday before Lent. My name is John Smythe and I was one of the five basses singing in the choir for this particular performance and recording. I've had the privilege of not only being a founder member of the Monteverdi Choir, but singing with them on and off for no less than five decades. But I remember this particular performance as though it were yesterday. As it happened, during the year 2000 of the pilgrimage, Quinquagesima fell on the 5th of March, and 36 years to the day, on the 5th of March in 1964, John Eric Gardner gathered us undergraduate call exhibitioners and scholars to sing in the same venue, King's College Chapel in Cambridge from the performance you're about to hear, to perform his Monteverdi Vespers of 1610, and that was the birth of the Monteverdi Choir. So here we were, 36 years later to the day, in the same venue, celebrating on this occasion the wonderful music of Bach. Cantata 23 had specific importance to Bach himself, because it was one of two test pieces that he submitted when he applied to be the cantor at St Thomas's Church in Leipzig. We understand that it would have been performed towards the end of the service, after the sermon, after communion. And being the Sunday before Lent, this may have been the last music, or amongst the last music, that his examiners would have heard before the long silence of Lent. If any of these cantatas are unfamiliar to those of you listening today, do join us for the rest of the series. They offer a wonderful window into the complexity, the innovation, the harmonies and the rhythms which are the genius of Bach's compositions. Number 23 starts with a solemn duet for soprano and solo, sorry, soprano and alto solo, reflecting the text from St Luke's Gospel where he seeks compassion for the sick in the midst of their misery. Quite an appropriate theme for the pandemic that we're living through at the present time. Of the four sections, I particularly love the final chorale, which gives us a foretaste of his passion music, particularly the St John Passion. So I hope very much that you'll enjoy listening to this wonderful music as much as we enjoyed performing it on what for us was a very special birthday. <laughs> 